guys today is thursday i hope everyone's day is off to an amazing start thanks so much for stopping in today guys i have uh, so much energy today all right as you guys know i have put up a few other videos this week but this particular video i feel like it's my first video for this week because again i have so much energy you guys know that we were on a wee bitty vacation uh, we went to Orlando, of course, we had a great time, but I think, guys, that really sudden change in temperature, that sudden change in weather, it took a toll on me. And so when we returned home, it's like I needed a vacation from my vacation, so um, I was a little bit tired. So right now, I am so happy to say that I have much more energy, thank goodness. Do you guys uh, get like that when you go on vacation? Do you have to come back and recuperate from all the fun and just wonderful times you had on vacation? Let me know. Um, but so yeah, we're back from vacation. And so you know how it is when you get back from out of town, you have friends and family stop by because they have missed you, of course. And so I had a girlfriend stop by and she was like, Tan, what is the secret? No matter when I come over here, what time of day it is that I that I come over, your house always smells the same. There are no, you know, negative odors here in your home. It always just smells really clean. Um, I don't have a lot of perfumey smells in the home um, either. You know, I, I will say though, in my closet room, I will put um, little candles and things like that because that's my own little personal space. And I do love for that area to have, you know, its own little distinct sweet smell. But as far as the rest of the house goes, I don't really do a whole lot of plug-ins and things like that. So she saw, or you know, she's been over here quite a few times. And so she knows that I don't have a lot of those artificial smells here in the house. So she just wanted to know how it is you know that I do it how do I keep the bad odors at bay and so that conversation that she and I had kind of prompted today's video so without further ado guys let's go ahead and get started why does your home stink why does your home stink all right so the first thing the first reason guys that your home may smell is because you are not taking out the trash you know, on a regular basis, on a timely basis, and also when you are taking out the trash, whoever's responsible for removing said trash, are they cleaning out the trash can ex itself before putting the liner into the bag? You know, try as we may, especially when we have kids or even husbands, when they are emptying out their plates or putting things in the trash can, sometimes it may slip underneath the liner and end up in the bottom of the trash can. Or some of us, you know, we love to save a few dollars and we may get the cheaper trash can liners. And sometimes they are not as, um, you know, the, the quality may not be there. And so they are probably a little bit more, you know, permeable than they need to. So, um, things can kind of seep through there, you know, uh, uh, fruits and vegetables that I know really, really cause odors in the kitchen can be, you know, old greens, cabbage, broccoli, you know, kale, things like that can really, really create odors in the kitchen. So if you are putting them in trash, uh, trash can liners that are not really well made, those juices and things can kind of seep through the bag. So when you take the trash out, make sure when you are bringing the trash can back into the house, you give it a nice little rinse out, okay? I love spraying mine down and cleaning it out with um, Fabuloso. You guys know I love Fabuloso. And so the lavender scented Fabuloso really helps to, you know, again, keep those trash odors at bay. You can also, too, guys, I know I've seen at my local Target and Walmart that they do have the trash can liners that have um, some scent to it, you know, the little Febreze scents. But you also want to make sure that you're not just trying to mask odors a lot. You know, if the trash can needs to be changed out, you know, there's no substitution for going ahead and changing it out. So change your trash can liner and clean out your trash can. And that will absolutely help to keep those kitchen odors at bay. The other reason that I kind of shared with her why her home may not be smelling as nice as she would like for it to. And this could be a reason that you guys um, 
you know, might be experiencing in your home as well. And it is you're not staying on top of that dirty laundry. Do you guys have a laundry set laundry day that you guys wash or do you just wait for a certain number of loads? This is what we do here in this house. Eric is responsible for the laundry here in the house. And I won't even say responsible. It is something that he loves, loves to do. All right. Some of us like to wash dishes. Some of us like to vacuum. He likes to wash clothes. All right. He just loves doing it. And he does a great job at it, I might add. And so what he does is whenever he sees that, you know, there's a load forming in the laundry room, that is what he goes ahead and washes. Of course, he separates his whites from his colors. And um, yeah, he stays on top of it like that. He doesn't wait for Friday at the end of the week to wash, okay? And I know everybody's household is different. However, I feel that staying on top of your laundry is going to keep those odors at bay. None of us likes to think that we smell, all right? But I have news for you, <laughs> okay? You wear your clothes, you put them in the dirty clothes, and as they pile, 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 pile higher, you know, those odors are going to start to mix together. You know, your smelly socks, your kids' smelly socks, those sweaty workout clothes, the longer you leave them in your laundry room, you know, those smells are going to start to sneak underneath the door and, you know, start to venture and wander around other parts of your house. All right, you don't want that. So my second tip, guys, for keeping the stinky odors out of your home is going to be stay on top of your laundry. Don't necessarily wait for every Friday to wash if you can. Again, I know everyone's household is run differently. I know everyone's schedule is different. You know, Eric is, um, he works from home. He does have to travel a lot, but um, when he's home, you know, I know he's at an advantage and that, you know, he doesn't have to wait until Friday or whenever. But um, I would just say, try to stay on top of that laundry, guys, and it re will really help to keep those odors, especially in your laundry room, at bay. <laughs> As we approach spring, it is just around the corner, guys. I can feel it. I would suggest opening up those windows and letting some of that fresh air in. Right here in Atlanta, guys, it is actually pouring down raining. But what my good old grandmother used to do, may she rest in peace, she used to, after a good rain, she would let the windows up. My mom would do the same thing and let in that nice rain. Have you ever wondered why? When you go into the candle stores, whether it be uh, Bed Bath & Beyond, well, candle sections and stores, Bed Bath & Beyond, um, just wherever you buy your candles, guys, they always have like an after rain or rain scent. That is the freshest air. You know, it, the, the, the rain has come in and it has washed away most of those bad odors that could be lingering around outside, you know, whether you have pets or not. There are little creatures, little critters out there, squirrels, rabbits, deer. Yes, I live in the city and um, I have seen a deer in our backyard, but that's a whole nother story. But yeah, all those odors, little raccoons, pollen, <laughs> you know, so the rain comes along and it washes all those odors away for a little while. So take advantage of that free air freshener by opening up your windows, not only does that air waft into your home but when you let your windows up guys all those bad odors kind of waft away outside as well that is something that we regularly do here in the home um when eric and i wake up in the morning whoever gets up first opens up the windows in our bedroom he goes and he opens up or i'll do it open up the windows over in chase's area of the house uh, we do it downstairs, specifically the kitchen. You definitely want to, if you can, if you have a window in your kitchen, open up that window in the kitchen and um, let some of those odors out of there. All right, so this one is, I don't know, you guys may find this one a little bit controversial, okay? Don't overdo the spices and the frying of foods in your kitchen. Here in our home, I am not a big fryer of my foods. You guys will recall that I have recently purchased an air fryer, but even uh, prior to the air fryer, I didn't really fry a whole lot in the kitchen. I just hate when you go to people's homes and their cabinets, the top of the 
the, the hood in the kitchen is just greasy and just just slimy with oil because they fry 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 that stuff has to go somewhere and it's going to land on your cabinets it's going to land on your countertops and those odors in the fried food now listen the fried food is delicious you know i know here in my melanin filled community we love fried food we know it's not all the best it's not great for us but it's it is delicious all right i'm not even gonna front it is delicious but if you constantly find find yourself frying foods those odors are going to begin to permeate your walls and you know your house is going to smell like you know fried chicken and fish <laughs> so i would kind of i'm not saying that you have to cut out frying your foods all together you know you only live once and you absolutely want to be able to indulge and do what you want to do in your home however if you're wanting to keep those uh fried odors uh at bay don't fry so much food okay don't 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 get in the habit of frying food every every day all right the other thing too that kind of goes hand in hand with the fried food since we're in the kitchen is going to be some of our spices some of our spices can be very very while they're aromatic they will hang around they will hang around your turmeric um I don't know you guys leave some comments of some of the other ones that are really really strong while they taste really good in our food you walk into someone's house you will you will know immediately what they've cooked been to a thai restaurant it just it smells like the food you're eating and it takes a while to get those odors out of your home so again you may want to kind of adjust the amounts and the frequency of both the spices and the frying of the foods open up your kitchen windows open up the windows that are kind of adjacent to your kitchen and that'll kind of help with that too and so speaking of my melanin people let me just get off the subject here for just a second how are you guys enjoying black history month oh my gosh has black history month been canceled for uh, what, what is today today's date is february 28th all right we're done with February. This today is actually the last day. How did you guys enjoy Black History Month? Um, I'm sure within your own households, you know, you you did things with your friends, your family to kind of you know share some of the experiences and the accomplishments that were you know accredited to you know those of us who have gone on. Um, but I think here this month, it's been a trying time. It has been a trying time. I don't have to go through and share all of the stories that have taken place this particular February, this particular Black History Month, but I know you all know. Are we going to cancel Black History Month for this year? Or are we going to move it to March? Or are we just going to just, I don't know, we're just going to say this one was... This one was, it was challenging and we're just going to muscle on through it as again, today is the last day of Black History Month, the last day of February, but my gosh, man, it's been a mess. <laughs> I just had to get that out of there. All right, so moving right along. All right, moving right along. All right, old carpet, old carpet. Um, Yeah, carpet is really nice. It's really cozy. Oh my gosh, there's nothing like some plush carpet underfoot on a cold, cold morning. But after a few years, guys, that carpet will hold on to every memory you have had in that house, whether it be food, cigarette smoke, pet odors, dirty shoes. You will be able to get down there and smell that carpet and be like, yep, I remember that day we ate that. Mm, yep, I remember when so-and-so peed right here. It is what it is. You know, carpet is going to, it's going to be cozy for you, but just like your cozy blankets and things like that, you have to, you got to wash it. And so you can only wash carpet so many times, guys, before it's just really time to go ahead and replace those, replace that carpet it's going to hold on to those odors. I think, um, oh my gosh, many, many years ago, I had a relative, whenever we would go to that particular relative's house, you it just, it, it reeked of old carpet. They needed to get rid of that carpet. Thank goodness they eventually did, but carpet will tell 
all of your business all right so if you can you know uh, maybe put money into your budget maybe you know start a little I'm gonna replace my carpet fund and if you can guys get that old carpet out of there I'm not saying you have to do the entire house but that's going to be super expensive maybe start room by room but who knows maybe it would be eco more economical for you to go ahead and do you know the whole house or those areas that have the carpet now I know a lot of us with new homes certain rooms do have carpet in them and so if you have a new home you are at an advantage your carpet you know hopefully isn't smelling However, down the road, you know, maybe 10, 20 years from now, you know, Lord willing, you're still in that house and you're doing great, that carpet may have to come out. So if you have old carpet, you might want to think about switching it out. All right. So you guys know that we are a no shoe household. All right. We have certain shoes that we wear in the house. Let me reach down here and I'll show you the shoes that I am currently wearing. Right now, I have on these Adidas slides perfectly clean on the back because these babies do not see the light of day outside of this house. I only wear these shoes in the house. You know, we have hardwood floors and tile floors. Those things, it's, it's, it's hard. It's bad on your knees. So you do want to wear some shoes, you know, in the house. So these are what I wear. Eric has his own pair and so does Chase. All right. Now, there are shoes that we, when we go to the park, when Eric cuts the grass, Chase cuts the grass, those shoes don't come in here. Not even in their hands do those shoes, you know, enter these doors. In our garage, we have a couple of shoe racks filled with nothing but outdoor shoes. That's what we call them, outdoor shoes. And so outdoor shoes and boots, they don't come in here. And when I say outdoor, I mean the ones, maybe we should call them work work shoes, all right? If we've gone hiking, we have special shoes that we go to Stone Mountain, Kennesaw Park, things like that. We leave those shoes in the garage because God only knows what you're stepping in when you go to the parks, okay? And I don't even want those shoes in my closet. So we leave those shoes in the garage. When Eric cuts the grass or when I work out in the yard, we have our yard boots or, or our yard sneakers. We don't bring those in here. Those stay in the garage. You know, those shoes, they get wet. And when shoes get wet and then dry, you do have those musty, kind of nasty odors. And so if you ever walk into someone's closet and their shoes smell, it's because those shoes were once wet and they dried and now they have that odor. So it's just making that area of the home not smell so good. And then, you know, you know, some of us might have, you know, a little foot fungus. Those shoes probably should stay out in the garage as well. <laughs> All right, so designate shoes that you are going to you know really go hard and leave those outside the shoes that you're just going to wear to the mall or you know you're just running errands you're going to wear to work your good shoes yeah you're going to bring those in but the shoes that really go hard for you you are probably going to want to keep those in another area if you have a garage that would be great or um well, i'm pretty sure if you, i don't know if you don't have a garage i would say with shoes like that Try your best to clean them off before you bring them back into the home. I have an area in my closet. You guys know I have a closet room. I love sneakers, okay? I love a good pair of sneakers, okay? But what I do is when I take my sneakers off, I stick a fabric sheet. Every pair of my shoes, shoes in my closet room have a fabric sheet in them. All right, when I get ready to put on that pair of sneakers, I take that fabric sheet out, I put it in the trash. When I get back home, take my sneakers off, and I put another fresh fabric sheet into my sneakers. I do that with every pair. And um, it just really keeps, you know, my sneakers, my room smelling fresh, you know? Um, sometimes too, when you have a closed in room designated just for your shoes, you know, that can kind of compact the odor. So 
said all this is that hey long story short short i put a little quick tip put little fabric sheets in my sneakers and that really helps with the odors but other than that if you have work shoes i would leave those out in the garage i am in here talking with you guys just being really long-winded like i have nothing to do today i have a dentist appointment that i need to get to here shortly so i am actually going to combine the next two they are back in the kitchen all right spring cleaning raise your hands in the comments if you guys have started your spring cleaning i hope you have if you guys have larger homes if you tend to kind of hoard clutter it is probably a little bit advantageous of you to get a jump on the uh the, the season before it actually gets here so i have already started so um as we are doing our spring cleaning don't forget your garbage disposal and clean out your refrigerator go into your refrigerator check those mayonnaise jars check those pickle jars raise your hand if you will buy a jar of pickles all right you want a jar of pickles you're in the grocery store you're shopping but you get two pickles out of that jar and then it sits there until you know eight months later and you can't even get the top off because it's all crusty around up in there but you want to go ahead check the dates on the condiments in your refrigerator make sure you don't have any old veggies in there make sure there's no old meat in your freezer go ahead and get those things out as we are doing our spring cleaning because you don't want to go into the next season and season with a smelly refrigerator those things will really start to create odors in your refrigerator an old trick i sure i, I know all my 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 real uh down home country moms know this tip put you a box of what Arm & Hammer baking soda in your refrigerator and that baking soda will kind of absorb all the odors that are, you know, lingering in your refrigerator. As far as your garbage disposal goes, you can, let's say you were, you, you've been eating an orange or you were cooking with a lemon. What I like to do is cut the citrus, my peels, up really small and just leave them in my garbage disposal for you know a day or so then i'll come back and then i'll pour um a little bit of dish detergent you can also buy garbage disposal cleaner i'll pour it in there on top of that citrus run some water flip the switch on my garbage disposal and it really really helps to um, keep that garbage disposal clean what you will also want to do guys and this is a nasty job this is a nasty job so get you some of those dollar store gloves or get you some really good rubber gloves guys and you're going to if you have a garbage disposal that little rubber uh liner thing that sits right inside of the garbage disposal you're going to have to go in there with your hand make sure that garbage disposal isn't on make sure you don't have any kids around that could come and flip that switch while your hand is in that garbage disposal but you will be surprised at the level of gunk that gets up underneath that little rubber uh, flap in your garbage disposal that thing harbors a lot of odors as well but be careful please be careful because i don't want y'all calling me saying tan you're the reason i'm around here missing a couple of fingers all right that garbage disposal does not play you could also use a brush to get under there okay just whatever you use be careful but get up underneath that rubber just a lot of black nasty gunk growing up under there all right <laughs> well that is it guys those are the reasons that i have for you why your home could be not smelling its best not not smelling its best it's a little bit stinky all right let me know if there are some reasons that i left off i will say too i just thought of one smoking nobody should be smoking cigarettes in 2019 but if you are if you are a smoker i know you're trying to kick the habit you might want to do that outside of the house all right if you if you go to someone's house and they have carpet and they smoke you know it immediately as you enter all right i know some of our older guys even our younger guys i think like to have a good cigar every now and then if you do that it kind of sticks with you um sticks with your home as well so if you're smoking you might want to do that outside of the house but let me know guys if there are any others that i forgot okay uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it. I have just enough time, I think, now 
to get to my dentist's appointment and get my pearly whites clean. Let me know what you guys are going to be up to for the weekend. I think the weather's supposed to be a little bit um, better here in Atlanta this weekend. Yeah, but anyway, I love chatting with you guys down in the comments. So, I'm going to go ahead and post this video and um, I'll be ready to chat with you guys here in a little bit. But again, really appreciate you guys stopping in. Can't wait to see you guys in the next video. I'm all over the place. Bye, guys. <laughs>